back to Mars. And I'm going to go over the uh, violence by the American Sandinistas in San Jose, California. And after we do that, we're going to go over what the uh, mayor had to say about this. These are actually going to be two different videos, but I'm going to combine them into one. This is the first. Let's get started with the San Jose violence. Now, these are criminals. Make no mistake about it. They should be put into prison, and the ones that are illegal aliens should be deported immediately. They should be tossed out of the country. So, what the hell is going on here? Well, we got a mini insurrection, is what's going on here. Donald Trump's rally in San Jose, California Thursday night was marred by violence by anti Trump demonstrators who targeted the events, attendees, and police. San Diego police reported that approximately three to four hundred protesters gathered outside Trump event. They weren't protesters, they were criminals. Which led to four arrests for instance, including assault with a deadly weapon in unlawful assembly. Officer Albert Morales said in a statement. While several physical assaults did occur, the police personnel on scene had difficult task of weighing need immediately to apprehend the suspects against the possibility that police action involved in the use of physical force under the circumstances would further incite the crowd and produce more violent behavior. Translation, they ran away from doing their jobs. I don't care if you gotta break some heads. These criminals have to be arrested. The ones that are illegal aliens, deported, arrest them, in prison for a long time. And here they're, uh, they're flying American, they're burning old glory, and they're flying Amer Mexican flags. Well, I'm sorry, it's not your country, you assholes. I am really getting angry. Police sergeant was one of the ones struck with some of the brunt of the violence, suffering minor injuries after protesters struck him with metal object. Why is that so-called protester? These aren't protesters, by the way. They are criminals. Why are they not in prison now? 30, 40 years would teach them what they need to know. Protesters. And Trump foes can, surrounded the San Jose Convention Center where scuffles broke out between them and uh, Trump supporters. Some altercations were physical resulting in bloody injuries as video as in the video below. Some Trump protesters surrounded the car of presumed Trump supporters the vehicle was leaving convention center's garage. Protesters were shaking the car and smashing its smashed its taillight. Protesters also surrounded and banged on police cars. They're criminals, not protesters. Rally attendees headed back to their cars. Heading back to their cars were egged, following, followed, and intimidated by some of the criminals. At one point, a large group of demonstrators, criminals, surrounded a Trump supporter, throwing bottles and spitting at him as he walked back to his vehicle. Is this what you want in your country? We're supposed to have the right to peacefully assemble and deal with our political stuff. But these criminals are attacking and they're not put into prison. That's the second part of this. Police instructed protesters, I mean criminals, over the loudspeakers to return home, but at one point, one to two, 100 to 200 of them remained pounding riot gear wearing police. About 200 police officers began marching in lines to push the crowd out of downtown San Jose. Some protesters 
through street signs and empty cans. Why are they not in prison? Before the violence outside the convention center kicked into high gear, rally attendees listened to the presumptive Republican nominee go after Hillary Clinton just hours after the Democratic presidential hopeful gave a long speech on foreign policy that Trump described as pathetic. And it just goes on and on. Uh, and now I'm going to show you why. I'm going to put this on pause and I'm going to show you why they are in prison. This is going to be part two, so you're going to have the mental disorder of liberalism. Uh, theme, and then we'll go over what the mayor had to say about this. Okay, this is Artifacts of Mars again, and San Jose City officials Friday condemned violence that took place at Donald Trump's campaign rally Thursday night that left some people bloody, led to four arrests, and injured a cop. Trump supporters leaving presidential candidates rally in San Jose were pounced on by the criminals. Some of you threw, some of you threw eggs and punches. Uh, we're going to skip down. What happened last night was disgraceful. San Jose Police Chief Eddie Garcia said Friday in, at a news conference. Garcia said police will never condone violence and assaults are not a first amount right. That's telling them, so why are these criminals not in prison? Garcia is forming a five-person task force to investigate violence, and police will be working with Santa Clara County District Attorney to prosecute the people who were violent. Garcia defended his officers who, he said, protected thousands of Trump supporters went home safely. Yeah, he did a really great job. Well, uh, that's all. When Garcia was asked what police could do differently next time, he said we need more officers. The goal of keeping people, more people from each other. Social media lit up with angry tweets. What are you, Stephen Rogers called the chief police, the chief to be fired. Meanwhile, Trump America called for a San Jose boycott. Okay, I'm okay, okay with that. I'm trying to find the part about the mayor. Mayor, I'm going to skip down. Mayor Sam Licardo, a Democrat and Hillary Clinton supporter. Go figure. Criticized Trump for coming to the cities and igniting problems that local police departments had to deal with. He's insane. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Licardo. It's right of the people. The people have every right to peacefully assemble under the First Amendment. You're making it out like Trump's causing a problem. No, it isn't. A bunch of criminals are causing the problem. At some point, Donald Trump needs to take responsibility for the irresponsible behavior of his campaign. So, here we have this criminal mayor blaming Trump. 
The Cardinal issued a statement about the violence Friday, saying San Jose police officers performed admirably and professionally to contain the acts of violence and protect the individuals' right to assemble, protest, and express their political views. Apparently, they uh, didn't do much to protect the Trump supporters. While well, a sad statement about our political discord that Mr. Trump has focused on stirring antagonism instead of offering real solutions to our nation's challenges, there's absolutely no place for violence against people who are simply exercising their rights to participate in the political process. So, here you have it. The mayor has blamed Trump for the violence. Here we have these leftist pinko commies, these American Sandinistas, who did the violence, but of course it's Trump's fault. You gotta blame the victim. This is a sick, diseased Sam Licardo. You people in San Jose need to remove him immediately. He is completely unfit to hold public office. I stand by that. Uh, actually, I heard he told the cops to stand down, which doesn't surprise me reading the story, so I'm thinking he should be sent to prison. Nothing's going to happen, and this is going to get worse. There's going to be more and more violence because of these criminals. Uh, this mayor, look what this mayor is suggesting. He's suggesting that Trump... Stay in uh, Trump Tower, New York, and run his campaign from there. Unacceptable. You can't, you can't win a presidential campaign doing something like that. I'm sorry, you can't do it. Of course, he doesn't want Trump to win. He's a Hillary Clinton supporter by his own admission. So there you have it. It's only going to get to wor get worse. Trump supporters, I like uh, what Michael Savage said. We need to get some of the big, big, burly men. And there's some Trump supporters, bikers and such. And surround these rallies and keep the American Sandinistas from causing trouble. And the bikers aren't afraid to... Uh, break some faces if they have to. I'm getting about tired of it. We're not getting any cooperation out of the authorities. What are we supposed to do? Just keep being attacked and intimidated? What happens when we go to the vault and we have a, a thousand criminals there intimidating us and keeping us from the ballot box? This is what happens in a third world country, folks. This is pure, pure evil. I'm sorry. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.